In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this t-shirt design using Adobe Illustrator. This style of design is very powerful because you can apply it to lots of different niches and make very unique designs with it. It's proven to sell very well for July the 4th, but it could still work all year round as an evergreen design. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have a few things set up and ready in Illustrator before you start designing. And the first thing would be to have some silhouettes and this will depend on which niche you want to enter. So in my case, I want to make an American flag that's themed around beer. And that's why I've picked a beer icon pack that I found on Vexels. Depending on what niche you want to enter, just find some silhouettes. There's also free websites where you can find SVG files. So I'm going to leave a link to both Vexels and those that below in the description. Next up we've got an American flag. I found this one on one of the free SVG websites and we're going to use this one as a guide of where to place our icons. So you could use any sort of other image of a flag. Uh, I just chose this one because it's free and it's a vector so it's a bit easier to work with. Once again, the link to this flag will be down below in the description. And then I've also got my color scheme ready on the right hand side, typical sort of blue, red and white color scheme for the flag at the end or for the icons to be colored in. Then the first thing I'm going to do is head over to file, document setup, then I'll take simulate color paper and change this top box right here to black and that way we have our background in black which I prefer because I tried to optimize this design for black t-shirts and then we can also change these icons right here to white and now the next thing you want to do is group this flag so to do that select everything hit ctrl G and now we're going to move it all the way down to the bottom layer because at the moment you might have some of your silhouettes behind the flag to do that, select the flag, hit Control, Shift, and open bracket, and now it should be behind everything. Now, you could put your silhouettes on your flag horizontally as it is now. I quite like, or I would recommend, to do it this way vertically, just so you cover more of the t-shirt space and you sort of have a bigger design that stands out more. Now we just need to get these stars over onto the other side. To do that, select the flag, then choose the Reflect tool by hitting O on your keyboard, or you can find it in the tool panel over here here and then just drag hold down shift and wait until the flag has flipped now select the flag and turn down the opacity to something like 50% then hit control 2 to lock your flag in place now that it's locked you can't select it anymore and it'll be easier to overlay our icons so I'm going to use this beer mug right here for the stripes just place it over here uh, where the first red stripe is on the right hand side it doesn't have to be as small as this stripe. Like you don't have to make lines for each of these stripes. I'd recommend going a bit bigger, maybe covering sort of two stripes. That way the customer can just sort of see what the icons are a bit easier. Once you sort of uh, figured out the size of two lines, you're going to want to copy this silhouette downwards. So to do that, hold down Alt on your keyboard, then drag down with your mouse. And while dragging, hit Shift so it stays in line. Do that just until it's underneath the first one and then you can just hit Control D to duplicate that process and have your silhouettes evenly spaced out. Now do that until it fills up the flag then select all of these sort of stretch it out a bit while holding down shift until it's actually at the bottom that's filled out the flag very nicely then the next thing you want to do is hit Control G on your keyboard to group this and now we have our first line ready and we could apply the red color by using the eyedropper tool which you can access by hitting I on a keyboard or over here in the tool panel, and then just select the red color. Right, that's our first stripe done. It just gets easier from here. Once again, hold down Alt to copy, drag with your mouse cursor with your left mouse, and then hold down Shift while dragging so it stays in line. Now just drag it across until it sort of overlays the next two stripes and is sort of centered on those. Then drop it and again hit Control D on your keyboard to duplicate. Do that another few times till the flag is covered. Now this flag isn't covered perfectly but it doesn't matter. No one's going to measure if your design <laughs> matches the proper dimension of the American flag. So don't worry about that. Um, now that we've filled that out, we want to alternate the stripes between red and white. So I'm going to leave the outer ones red and now to actually get rid of these ones that are covering up the stars, we're going to use the direct selection tool, draw a rectangle around these 
mugs right here that are overlapping the stars and depending on how your silhouettes um, cover the stars you have to be a bit creative there and maybe try out a couple of different ways but I think this could work now we've got a big enough gap there to either fill it out with another icon or you could obviously leave some stars there in our case I'm going to use this right here the hop uh, which is a vital part in making beer and I'm going to copy that over here make it a bit smaller uh, just to align that sort of with your outer line of beer mugs, then hold down Alt, left click to drag it across and hold down Shift so it stays in line. Now drag it until it reaches the next line of beer mugs and then hit Control D to duplicate. Next up, you're going to want to select all of these hops and hit Control G to group them and then we're going to copy them upwards, but we want to alternate the rows a bit, just like the stars, just basically pull it over so each hop is in between the previous ones. Now, as you can see, we've got one that's sort of out of the flag with the direct selection tool, draw over it and hit delete on your keyboard twice. All that's left to do is select both of these lines of hops, drag it up by holding down Alt and left clicking and then hold down Shift for it to stay in line. Duplicate the process again with Control D. We just need to get rid of this top line and we've basically nearly sorted out our hops they're just a bit out of place right now so if you select all of your icons it's sometimes easy to see where they're overlapping so they're a bit too far up top here so i'm going to just select all of them size them down a bit move them inwards a bit so they actually match the shape of the flag better now once again selecting everything that looks pretty good okay and now I want to select all of these hops and change the color to blue. And now the final step would be to hit Control, Alt, 2 on your keyboard, or you could go up to Object and click Unlock All, which will then unlock our flag again that we had in the background. Now you can click on your flag, hit Delete on the keyboard, and you're going to be left with just your a newly created American flag. You could probably make the hops white as well. That looks quite nice. You could also do different layouts, as I said, where the flag is horizontal, or you could also overlay a texture onto these. Once you've done this a few times, it gets really easy. You can do it with lots of different icons. You could put vehicles in there, sport icons, uh, animals as an option, different jobs. Like There's literally endless possibilities. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you have fun designing your own American flags. And if you're now looking for some more July the 4th niches, then I suggest you watch this video where I show you eight sub niches for Independence Day.